Buddhism is a spiritual practice that teaches us to live a life of peace, compassion, and wisdom. It is a path that helps us to overcome the suffering and difficulties of life by cultivating a clear and focused mind. One of the most important teachings of Buddhism is to avoid certain things that can cloud our minds and prevent us from thinking clearly. In this video, we will discuss the five things that we must avoid to think clearly. Number 1. Attachment. Attachment is a common human experience that can manifest in various forms, including a desire for power, status, or recognition. It is often seen as an attachment to external things such as job titles, social status, or material possessions, with the belief that they define who we are. However, this attachment to external factors can lead to feelings of insecurity and anxiety, as we fear losing our identity and status. In the teachings of Buddhism, attachment is viewed as a form of ignorance or delusion. The Buddha emphasized that our true nature is not defined by external things, but rather by our innermost being, which is pure and unchanging. Therefore, the key to overcoming attachment lies in realizing our true nature and cultivating inner contentment. One practice that can help cultivate inner contentment is gratitude meditation. Gratitude meditation involves reflecting on the things we are grateful for in our lives, such as our health, relationships, and experiences. By actively cultivating gratitude, we can develop a sense of inner abundance and reduce our dependence on external things for our sense of well-being. However, cultivating inner contentment alone may not be enough to overcome attachment. The Buddha also emphasized the importance of developing wisdom or insight. Wisdom allows us to see things as they truly are and understand the impermanent and interconnected nature of all things. Through wisdom, we can cultivate a more balanced and equanimous mind, which can help us overcome the obstacles to clear thinking. Overcoming attachment requires a multifaceted approach that combines cultivating inner contentment through practices like gratitude meditation and developing wisdom through insight. By doing so, we can gradually loosen the grip of attachment on our lives and find greater freedom and peace within ourselves. It is important to note that overcoming attachment is not about rejecting or renouncing external things altogether. It is about developing a healthy relationship with them, recognizing their impermanence, and understanding that they do not define our true nature. By doing so, we can live more fully in the present moment and find a deeper sense of fulfillment and happiness that is not dependent on external factors. So, attachment is a common human experience that can lead to feelings of insecurity and anxiety. However, by realizing our true nature, cultivating inner contentment through practices like gratitude meditation, and developing wisdom through insight, we can gradually overcome attachment and find greater freedom and peace within ourselves. Number 2. Aversion. Aversion is the opposite of attachment. Aversion means pushing away or rejecting things that we don't like or find unpleasant. When we are averse to something, we become reactive and defensive, and we may act impulsively without thinking clearly. In Buddhism, aversion is seen as a form of hatred or anger. The Buddha taught that hatred is never appeased by hatred, but by love alone. Therefore, the key to overcoming aversion is to cultivate loving-kindness or metta. Loving-kindness is a quality of the heart that wishes for the well-being and happiness of all beings. To cultivate loving-kindness, we can practice metta-meditation. Metta-meditation involves generating feelings of love and kindness towards ourselves and others. We start by directing loving-kindness towards ourselves, recognizing our own worthiness of love and happiness. Then, we extend this loving-kindness to our loved ones, neutral people, and even to those whom we have difficulties with. Through meta-meditation, we develop a sense of empathy and compassion towards others. We begin to see that everyone, including ourselves, experiences pain and suffering. By cultivating loving-kindness, we can let go of a virgin and embrace a more accepting and understanding attitude towards life. Another aspect of overcoming aversion is practicing mindfulness. Mindfulness allows us to observe our aversive thoughts and emotions without getting caught up in them. Instead of reacting immediately, 
we can pause and investigate the underlying causes of our aversion. This helps us to gain insight into our patterns of aversion and develop a more skillful response. By cultivating mindfulness, we can develop a greater sense of equanimity and acceptance towards the ups and downs of life. We learn to respond to challenging situations with clarity and compassion, rather than being driven by aversion. So, overcoming aversion is essential for clear thinking. By cultivating loving kindness and mindfulness, we can transform our aversive tendencies into understanding and acceptance. This allows us to approach life's challenges with wisdom and compassion, leading to a more peaceful and clear-minded existence. Number 3. Ignorance Ignorance is another obstacle that hinders clear thinking. It refers to a lack of understanding or awareness about the true nature of ourselves, others, and the world around us. When we are ignorant, we are prone to misunderstandings, biases, and distorted perceptions. In Buddhism, ignorance is considered the root cause of suffering. The Buddha taught that ignorance leads to the misperception of reality, causing us to cling to false notions of self and to develop attachments and aversions. Overcoming ignorance requires cultivating wisdom and insight. To overcome ignorance, we can start by developing a mindset of curiosity and openness. We can cultivate a willingness to question our beliefs, assumptions, and preconceived notions. This involves recognizing that our understanding of reality is limited and subject to change. The practice of mindfulness is also crucial in overcoming ignorance. Mindfulness allows us to observe our thoughts, emotions, and sensations without judgment or attachment. By being fully present in each moment, we can develop a deeper awareness of ourselves and the world around us. Additionally, studying the teachings of Buddhism can help dispel ignorance. Buddhism offers profound insights into the nature of reality, the impermanence of all things, and the interconnectedness of all beings. By studying and reflecting on these teachings, we can gain a clearer understanding of ourselves and the world. Meditation is another powerful tool for overcoming ignorance. Through meditation, we can cultivate a calm and focused mind, allowing us to see things as they truly are. Meditation helps us develop insight into the impermanent and ever-changing nature of existence, as well as the interdependence of all phenomena. So, cultivating compassion and empathy can help overcome ignorance. When we develop compassion for ourselves and others, we naturally seek to understand their experiences and perspectives. This broadens our understanding and helps us overcome narrow-mindedness and ignorance. By actively working to overcome ignorance through mindfulness, study, meditation, and compassion, we can gradually gain clarity of thought and perception. We can develop a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world, leading to more informed decisions and actions that contribute to our own well-being and the well-being of others. Number 4. Distraction Distraction is a common challenge that prevents us from thinking clearly. In our fast-paced and technology-driven world, distractions are abundant, pulling our attention in multiple directions. When we are constantly distracted, our minds become scattered, making it difficult to focus and think deeply. In Buddhism, distraction is seen as a hindrance to mindfulness and concentration. The Buddha taught the importance of cultivating a calm and focused mind to gain insight and clarity. Overcoming distraction requires developing the ability to direct and sustain our attention. One effective way to overcome distraction is through the practice of meditation. Meditation is a powerful tool that helps train the mind to be more focused and present. By sitting in stillness and observing the breath or a chosen object of focus, we learn to anchor our attention and let go of distractions. Regular meditation practice strengthens our ability to recognize and let go of distracting thoughts, emotions, and external stimuli. It cultivates a sense of inner stability and resilience, allowing us to stay centered even in the midst of external distractions. Another approach to overcoming distraction is by creating a conducive environment for clear thinking. This involves minimizing external distractions such as noise, clutter, and interruptions. 
Creating a dedicated space for focused work or meditation can help establish a routine and signal to the mind that it's time for focused attention. Additionally, setting clear intentions and goals can help combat distraction. By clarifying what we want to achieve and breaking tasks into manageable steps, we can stay more engaged and motivated. Prioritizing our activities and eliminating unnecessary distractions can also help us stay on track and maintain mental clarity. Practicing mindfulness in daily life is another effective way to overcome distraction. Mindfulness involves being fully present and engaged in whatever we are doing, whether it's eating, walking, or having a conversation. By cultivating mindfulness, we train ourselves to be more aware of distractions as they arise and consciously choose to redirect our attention. It's important to remember that overcoming distraction is an ongoing practice. It requires patience, perseverance, and self-compassion. As we continue to cultivate mindfulness, develop concentration, and create a supportive environment, we gradually strengthen our ability to think clearly and stay focused amidst distractions. By actively working towards reducing distractions and cultivating a focused mind, we can enhance our productivity, creativity, and overall well-being. We become more present in our lives and develop the capacity to think deeply and make wise choices that align with our values and goals. Number 5. Judgment Judgment is a common mental habit that can hinder clear thinking. It involves forming opinions or evaluations about people, situations, or ideas based on our personal biases, beliefs, or preconceived notions. When we engage in judgment, our thinking becomes clouded by subjective perspectives, limiting our ability to see things objectively. In Buddhism, judgment is seen as a manifestation of the ego and the delusion of a separate self. The Buddha taught the importance of cultivating non-judgmental awareness and developing the ability to see things as they are, free from personal biases or attachments. To overcome judgment and cultivate clear thinking, it is helpful to practice mindfulness. Mindfulness involves observing our thoughts, emotions, and judgments without getting caught up in them. By developing a non-reactive and non-judgmental awareness, we can create space for clarity and objectivity. Another approach to overcoming judgment is cultivating empathy and compassion. When we cultivate empathy, we strive to understand the experiences and perspectives of others. This helps us to develop a more open-minded and compassionate attitude towards others, reducing the tendency to judge. Reflecting on our own judgments and biases is also important. By examining our own beliefs and assumptions, we can become aware of the ways in which our judgments may be influenced by our own conditioning or limited perspectives. This self-reflection allows us to approach situations with greater openness and humility. Practicing gratitude can also help counteract judgment. When we cultivate gratitude, we shift our focus towards appreciation and acceptance rather than judgment and criticism. This helps us to see the positive aspects of people or situations, fostering a more balanced and compassionate mindset. Lastly, it is important to remember that everyone has their own unique experiences and perspectives. Recognizing the inherent complexity and diversity of human beings can help us approach others with greater understanding and acceptance. By embracing diversity and valuing different viewpoints, we can expand our own thinking and cultivate a more inclusive mindset. By actively working to overcome judgment through mindfulness, empathy, self-reflection, gratitude, and embracing diversity, we can develop clearer thinking and foster harmonious relationships with ourselves and others. We become more open-minded, compassionate, and able to see the world with greater clarity and understanding. So, Buddhism teaches us that clear thinking is essential for living a peaceful and fulfilling life. By avoiding attachment, aversion, ignorance, distraction, and judgment, we can cultivate a clear and focused mind that is free from suffering. Through mindfulness, loving-kindness, wisdom, concentration, and equanimity, we can develop the qualities of heart and mind that lead to true happiness and well-being.